It was a hot August day when Mandy came into my life. We were about the same age, her 35 to my 38 and she had long dark hair and sad looking brown eyes. Like me, she was recently married. And like me, she had a heart condition. As Mandy lived in Grand Rapids, Michigan, our relationship blossomed through a Facebook group for people with an ICD implantable cardioverter defibrillator, a device placed under the skin of the chest to protect people with heart conditions from having sudden cardiac arrests. It's pretty heavy subject matter but the group, which has upwards of 5,000 members, many of whom are in their 20s, 30s or 40s, is anything but. Since I was diagnosed with a potentially deadly heart rhythm a couple of years ago and had an ICD fitted, it has been an invaluable source of support. Mandy became a trusted member of our community, posting frequently about her anxieties. So, naturally, we were all sad when, a few weeks later, she posted pictures of herself, a young mom, wired up to monitors in a hospital bed with her husband by her side, accompanied by some worrying heart and blood pressure readings. The hospital has been my home more than my house, she wrote, but she expressed concern that doctors weren't taking her seriously. We were beside ourselves when she announced she wanted to transfer to a bigger hospital with a better cardiac unit, but it didn't have the $30 bus fare she didn't ask for the money. As the days rolled by, Mandy's husband took over posting, asking people to pray for Mandy, saying that she was now in the right place but needed surgery. He said his boss had fired him, but there was nowhere else he'd rather be than at Mandy's bedside, and thanked us for our support. 